Alrighty, welcome back everybody. Today we have Hunter Hunter episode 107. Once again, last episode was really great. I really enjoyed it. Lots of interesting things surrounding Nov's infiltration of the palace, as well as stuff with Palm and Moral as well. I think we're going to get some Moral versus Leal this episode, which I'm keen for. It was just a really good time, man. It gave me a lot of things to think about and talk about. You can really feel the tone starting to shift again, you know. It just reminds me of when Pito just popped up and took Kite, you know? Things changed very quickly then, and it was only for a brief moment, all right? You can feel it changing again, but ever so slightly. So I feel like once it does change all the way, it's going to be up there and it's going to stay there. At least that's what I'm hoping for. And I'm very excited about that possibility. Like and subscribe. Check out the Patreon for early access if you're interested. And with all that being said, enjoy the video. Well, we're getting straight into it. Wait, what, what is he? Is that a surfboard? Inamura. Inamura? Tube. He's surfing. Oh, hold on now. Something's happening. <laughs> he wanted to be in here for a reason too, man. Here comes the water. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. The freaking OP. Return and retire. Okay, talk to me. I hear the water. He's got a trident as well. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> I didn't see this coming, man. <laughs> He's so mobile. He knows. Oh, that's how. Who's his buddy? But he must be alive, otherwise Leo wouldn't be able to use it. I thought Moro would be able to do something like this. Oh, what if it's cults? He's trying to convince him. Oh, Maelstrom, I love that. Easy! <laughs> Dude, this is why I love werewolves, man. This is wild. What do you got, Moral? True, true. The smoke stuff. Hey, man, do your thing, man. He's on to him? Was it just a bluff? Yeah, okay, okay. So it's not that. Well, here it is. Dude. Yeah, he's right though. What favor did he did he do, you know? Did he leave him alive? Okay. I love that it's all orange as well. Damn. Oh yeah, I like this visual. It's pretty dope, man. We're just inside this church. We'll see if Moral knows a bit more about this specific ability, considering it was his homies. He could just be chilling under there. That's the fake out for sure. Yep. He's let out some smoke, man, for sure. Oh? 
迷路のように入り組んだ地下への登り階段も、hey, 肺活量に自信のあるやつなら、hey, like、ここで逃がすわけにはいかねえ。<笑> yeah. Yeah. まさか毒 Hello? Using too much of the ability? Yeah, he really thought himself into a frenzy here. Is this it for Leo? There's no way. Like this? I think it's happening, man. やはり煙を放す状にして銃を無人に伸ばしていただがいったいどんな毒を思ったより早かったなお前が吸い込んだのは猛毒ですかいやカーボンダイオクサイドいやもうこれは CO2もうこれは CO2もうこれは CO2も
I freaking love that. Killua was just like, what? Of course you're coming. Go. No, go on. Go on. You're with us now. まあ、こねえなら it's very in character for Killua. <laughs> That's a bit of Gon's influence on Killua there. But I feel like this is going to come up in the future. <laughs> very Killua. And Cal goes just happy to have a friend. And here's the, the main theme. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. Ikao goes the guy, man. Kiruは、俺、もう俺、今死んでもいい。こんな俺なんかに。お前な、もう一つ言っとくけど、おめえがこれから足突っ込む世界はな、生死の境で生きてる奴は死んでもいいなんて絶対に言わない。<笑> That's Assassin Killer. Dude, it's like Killer looking at Gon. Ikalgo looking at Killer. <laughs> Dude, it's so wholesome, man. He looks like a character from South Park. Man. My man, he better not die, man. <laughs> oh, what another little tone shift, man. I appreciate it, man. So definitely a little step back, especially towards the end there from what we had in the two episodes before this. But what I'm most curious about is what's actually happened to Palm. Alrighty, so I'm just gonna assume from that that Leal is done. I'm not too upset about it. Like I said last episode, he's just kind of been there, you know? He's got a pretty cool ability, but he's just been hanging around, you know? Another really nice showcase about how unique some of these net abilities can be and what situations they can be applied to in. The indoor surfing in this underground church, all these maelstroms, whirlpools, massive waves, sick, I love it. But Moral always had the upper hand because of his, you know, I, I guess, ability to have such a large lung capacity that he can just exhibit all of this carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, especially with the water making it so there's much less air in the room and blocking it in. Very creative and I appreciate it because it's logical as well. And crazy that it was uh, Moral's homie's ability that Leo was using. I went through all sorts of possibilities abilities then like what if it was cult or if it was the person that Leo was when he was a human but that doesn't work at all based on how his ability works it's just because Leo said oh no this is my own ability but he was just trying to throw moral off the scent moral was on to Leo straight away about how he could use other people's abilities and whatnot uh, the only other thing I have on moral this episode is uh based on the fact that Nov is out of the fight which I thought was actually a possibility based on how he was reacting last episode you have to wonder that if moral also experiences some of this aura, is he going to have the same reaction? Same with Knuckle and Shoot, you know? Like, it, Palm was really struggling with it. We're going to see, man. We're going to see. But Palm, she's done what's needed to be done. She's got to the exact same spot as Nov. And the aura was there. It started, like, slowly coming down the stairs like it did with Nov. And then it completely retreated. Now, I was wondering if it, it was retreating because Palm started thinking, but, as in, but I have to do this kind of thing. Or if it was just the aura that was coming out because Pito was performing surgery on the king. I'm wondering if in that instance, she stopped performing the surgery like she finished it. And then the more red like smoke aura that was coming down. I wonder if that means she's activated her ability. Either way, whatever it was, it's come right up to Palm and she's crapped herself. And now we don't know what's happened to her. And the squad was talking about her like she's the only, you know, piece left. And the more I think about like this whole thing with Palm, like, you know, Nov said last episode that even if Palm fails, like they have the entrance and the exit set up, they don't need Palm to succeed but it would be very helpful so like 
That makes me think maybe Palm doesn't succeed. And we're going to find out. And then we're back to Killua. Like, like finally, man. Really came out of nowhere because I was so engrossed in what was happening with Palm. But that was a really wholesome scene overall. Killua was completely fine. I'm not surprised by that. Like, he's a Zoldic. He's an assassin. He's built different. But Ecalgo, man. Like, he's just... Oh, dude. He's looking at Killua the same way Killua looks at Gon. Like, that, that's what I was getting from this. And this is like a side of Killua you don't really get to see. Because Killua is all, like, shy about his feelings towards Gon. But he's so open about some of these things like to eat calgo because it's like a fresh start the way he just like assumes that they were friends like they both saved each other he just assumed that calgo was coming with him and so did i it just made perfect sense but he calgo man he is quite a character like just the way he's talking about like he wanted like this specific life he wanted to be in this world not the chimera ant world even the way like he wishes he was a squid you know and it's funny he was reading like some books on magazine about a squid while he was waiting for killer to wake up but killer is that shining light to a calgo that gone is to killer he's showing him the world that he can live in. Like, Gon was the reason that Killua was able to, like, break out of, like, the Zoldic family. He showed Killua that he can, like, have a friend and live a different life. And now Killua's doing that for Ikalgo. It's so cool, man. But there were some specific things said there that I think are going to come up in the future. Like, if something uh, like this between Killua and Ikalgo in terms of saving them happens again, they don't have to say thank you because it's just, like, you know, it's implied. We're, we're friends, we're homies. But something's going to happen, man. Like, I just feel like that's going to come up. But Ikalgo's going to have a big part to play, man. Just like Melioron. Melioron's ability though is I think going to be incredibly impactful, especially seeing as he's getting all chummy with Knuckle, which I'm not surprised about. I thought Melioron was going to be like opposed to that, but like he did see the way that Knuckle was acting, like talking about the, the dogs and stuff. And he was like, oh, this guy's kind of cool though. But does that mean he's entrusted the knowledge of his ability to Knuckle as well? That means he might with shoot with moral as well. And we can use Melioron's ability when we infiltrate through Nob's portals. Like it's all, it's all stuff to come together it makes sense to me but we're pretty much where we need to be now at this point i don't know how many days are left right until it's all gonna go down it's been two days that killer has been knocked out so i can't remember what the last instance of how many days were left uh, were told to us but i'm sure we'll find out soon but um outside of palm we're all pretty much where we need to be it's just killer and andy calgo to meet back up with the group and then everything's pretty much ready man netero has been powering up like i'm getting excited man there's still a long way to go in this show and in this arc but i'm thinking it's getting close to being time for some cool things to happen man but i think that's it for this episode lots like really did happen but i still need confirmation like i imagine leo is actually just gone he's dead i need to know what's happened with palm give me some more on the king like what's actually going on with pito and the guards and then we can talk a little bit more so with that being said the next six videos so the next 12 episodes they're all going to be two episode videos look forward to that hopefully i'll be able to keep up i'm going to do my absolute best it's going to be a big effort and i'm hoping i even have enough time to actually record all of this uh, over the next few weeks because uh, my, my schedule is looking pretty packed we're going to see so thank you all so much for watching if you enjoyed please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more and as always please continue to leave your comments and feedback down below you know i always appreciate it we'll see you all in the next episodes of hunter hunter